I will explain about the background of Malaysian Airport Holdings Berhad or MAHB. During the year of 1999, MAHB was incorporated as public limited company and listed on the Bursa Malaysia, becoming the first Asian air terminal administrator and to be the sixth place in the world. The core business of MAHB include in the management, operation, maintenance and development in airports. MAHB gains its revenue from aeronautical operations, which is, which is aircraft landing and parking fees, passenger service charges, other airline charges and commercial activities from airport-related services such as duty-free shops and other retail outlets, hotel operations and commercial leasing. MAHB vision was to be the worldwide pioneer in making air terminal urban communities, guaranteeing economic development by gaining the improvement openings exhibited through the accessibility of the immense land bank encompassing Kuala Lumpur International Airport KLIA. The diversification of Malaysia Airport's business activities not just enable the company to keep aeronautics charges at a competitive level but also to keep up a good return to the shareholders. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nora Khalida Shafika Binti Khalid. I will explain about the first uh, classification of ratio, which is uh, the liquidity ratio. Uh, the liquidity ratio consists of uh, current ratio, quick ratio, and cash ratio. Current ratio is a financial ratio that measures whether a firm has enough resource to pay its debt over uh, 12 months by comparing the firm's current asset and uh, its current liabilities. Uh, so, uh, for the company that we choose, which is uh, uh, MHB, uh, from uh, the table given, uh, the current ratio for MHB in year 2018 is higher than year 2017, whereby the current ratio for MHB in year 2018 is 8.99 times as compared to year 2017 by 5.41 times. It shows that MHB more capable to pay short-term liabilities in year 2018 than year 2017. From this comparison, we can assume that MHB able to pay its short-term liabilities in a timely manner that results to the increment in their current ratio. Okay, for the second ratio in the liquidity ratios is the quick ratio. Quick ratio can measure the ability of the firm to use its quick asset which are cash and cash equivalents, marketable securities and account receivables to pay its current liabilities. Uh, inventory and prepaid is not included in the ratio since uh, it can uh, be quite difficult uh, um, to sell it off in the short time. So for MHB, the quick ratio for MHB in year 2018 is higher than year 2017 uh, based on this table because uh, the quick ratio for MHB in year 2018 is uh, 8.99 times as compared to year 2017 by 5.41 times. Uh, based on this table, it shows that uh, MHB can meet its current liabilities with the available quick funds on hand in year 2018 than year 2017. From this comparison, we can conclude that MHB able to pay its current liabilities in a timely manner also at the same time increase their sales so that the cash and account receivables increase. Okay, for the last ratio in liquidity ratio is cash ratio. Cash ratio measures the ability of the firm to use its cash to cover all current liabilities immediately without having to sell or liquidate other assets. Based on the table given, the cash ratio for MAHB in year 2018 is lower than year 2017 whereby the cash ratio for MAHB in year 2018 is 0 0.35 times as compared to year 2017 by 0 0.92 times. It shows that MAHB do not have enough cash to pay its current liabilities in year 2018 compared to year 2017 
where MHB have enough cash to pay its current liabilities. So, from this comparison, we can suggest that MHB should set aside some cash in hands so they can pay its current liabilities in the exact time. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Muhammad Adnan Shafiq Ben Suhaimi and I would like to explain about the next classification of financial ratio which is leverage ratio. Okay, leverage ratio analyzes how a firm is being financed and whether a firm is able to meet its interest expenses. Leverage ratio include debt ratio and interest cover ratio. Alright, so in our uh, analysis, we are using three elements in order to analyze the leverage ratio in MAHP. First ratio is debt ratio. The debt ratio is a financial ratio that measures the, the extent of the company leverage. The debt ratio is defined as ratio of total debt to total asset, express a decimal or percentage. It can be interpreted as the proportion of a company's asset that are financed by debt. Secondly, debt to equity ratio. The debt equity ratio is an important metric used in corporate finance. It is a measure of the degree to which a company is financing its operation through debt versus wholly owned funds. Most specifically, it reflects the ability of shareholder equity to cover all outstanding debts in the event of a business downturn. Time interest earn ratio, also known as interest cover ratio. The time interest earn ratio is a measure of a company's ability to meet its debt obligation based on its current income. The formula of the company's TIE number is earnings before interest and taxes divided by the total interest payable on bonds and other debt. The result is a number that shows how many times a company could cover its interest chain charges with its pre-tax earnings. Okay, next, let me see the calculation that have been done. Okay, so first, debit ratio. Based on the calculation, we could see that in the year 2017, total asset being funded by total debt is 37.09%. While in 2018, the total assets being funded by total debt is 35.18%. It shows that the reduction on depending the reduction of depending on debt either short term or long term liabilities. Alright, so next, debt to equity ratio. Based on the calculation, in year 2017, the total equity being funded by total debt is 58.97%, while in 2018, the total equity being funded by total debt is 54.26%. Based on the ratio, we can conclude that the company have earned more equity over the year since the percentage of depending on debt has reduced. Next, time interest ratio. We could see based on the calculation, in the year 2017, the company has earned before interest and tax up to 1.44 times while in 2018, it decreased to 0.24 times. It shows that the company have low ability or potential to meet the interest for additional borrowings. This is because the company is not generating sufficient revenues to satisfy interest expenses. Assalamualaikum, my name is Shaina binti Muhammad Sanusi. I am going to explain about efficiency ratio. Basically, this ratio provides investors with information on the efficiency of the management utilizing the assets to earn sufficient returns in terms of finance, debt and equity. 
there are five elements in this efficiency ratio which we will look into the first element which is inventory turnover. It measures a firm's efficiency in turning its inventory into sales. Based on the table, the inventory turnover in N in MAHB for the year of 2018 was decreased by 2.13 times compared to year 27. That means MAHB does not fully utilize its assets and the demand from the customers might be low. Therefore, MAHB should sell its assets at a reasonable price in order to prevent them from incurring other costs such as storage costs. The next element is Average Collection Period ACP. It refers to the average length of time that the firm must wait after making credit sales before receiving any payment. MAHB has reduced its ACP from 200 days in 2017 to 182 days in 2018. It is benefited to the company as they could urge the creditor to make immediate payment. The third element is Total Asset Turnover. Total asset turnover measures a company's ability to generate sales from its assets by comparing the sales with total assets. MAHB able to increase its TATO from 47 times to 49.66 times in 2018. That means for every one ringgit in assets, MAHB could generate up to 49 cents of its sales. The fourth one is receivables turnover. It measures on how many times a company could turn its accounts receivables into cash. MAHB was able to collect more in 2018 for 200.35 times compared to 2017 for 181.71 times. The last element is fixed asset turnover. It measures on how a company utilizes its plant and equipment by comparing net asset net sales with fixed assets. MAHB could generate its assets 71.91 times more in 2018 compared to 68.32 times in 2017. Therefore, MAHB have generated more sales in 2018 with its small amount of assets. Okay, what is profitability ratio? Profitability ratio is a set of measurement used to examine the ability of management to generate sufficient profit from use of the firm's capital and assets. Okay, these ratio are measured to be favorable when they improve over a trend line are comparatively better than the result of the competitors. Okay. Profitability ratio are derived from a comparison of revenue to different grouping of expenses within the income statement. Okay, there are five type of profitability ratio. The first one is gross profit margin. Okay, gross profit margin is a measure of the efficiency of a company using its raw material and labor during the production process okay this mean the higher the profit uh, okay this mean the higher the profit margin the more efficient the company is okay from year end 2018 mahb shows the profit margin is 91.32% is slightly higher from the previous previous year which is 2017 at 90.35 percent thus during the during the year of 2018 mahb is able to use its raw material and the labor efficiently compared to the year 2017 okay from the comparison that we can see mahb Uh, is doing well to control its ability to pass on the cost to its customer. Okay, the next is operating profit margin. Operating profit margin measures uh, for investor and creditor to see how the business is run and support their operation. Uh, 
if company can make enough money from the operation to support the business, does it mean the company are considered stable? Uh, the OPM for 2018 is 41.81% uh, 41 uh, which is slightly higher from the previous year 2017 which is at 41.64% 41 41 From this comparison, the comparison we can conclude that MAHB are uh, able to make enough money from its going operation uh, to pay for its various costs and as well as its fixed costs. Okay. okay, the third one is net profit margin. Okay, net profit margin is a ratio of net profit to revenue for a company or business. Okay, uh, net profit margin can illustrate how much of a company revenue remain after deducting all the operating expenses and interest on borrowing from a company. In this case of MAHB, uh, during the year of 2018 shows 14.99% uh, substantially increase than the year 2018 which is 5. 5.096% thus, thus a high net profit margin indicates that a business is pricing its products correctly and is exercising good cost control from the comparison that we con can conclude that MAHB business is doing well since the revenue is high ok the fourth one is Return on asset. Return on asset is the ability of a company to generate return on its total asset. It provides the information regarding the efficiency of company's management in using the fund. Okay, this ratio indicates how well the company is performing by comparing the profit the profit is generating to the capital invested in asset. That means the higher the return, the more productive and efficient management in utilizing the economic resources. In year 2018, MAHP indicates uh, the return on asset is 3.27% higher compared to the year 2017 which is at 1.05%. Thus, uh, since the 2018 uh, MHB profit is high, it shows uh, the company is more efficient and productive the management uh, by using the economic resources. As a conclusion, the return on 2017 uh, as conclusion, the return on asset on 2018 is much better compared to 2017 and the lastly is return on equity return return on equity reveal how much profit a company earn in comparison to the company a shareholder has invested it is to it is to test how well the capital fund are used by the business to generate the profit therefore to generate cash internally a company with high return of equity is more successful investors are always hunting to firm with higher and rising capital return okay in the year of 2018 uh, the equity is 7.96 percent higher compared to the year of 2017 which is at 2.63% 2 .6, 2 thus it shows the level of return that shareholders are getting is higher in year 2018 okay that's all from me as a conclusion 
the progress of a firm needs to be set in the context of what other firms have done and whether there are exist exceptional or special circumstances that could impact companies' performances. MAHP had showed a lot of performance on 2018 compared to 2017. Therefore, they should figure out some initiatives to increase their performance for the next year. Thank you. Thank you.